This video be showing the best Jason Tatum build for NBA 2K24 for season two. Uh, this build is going to be six foot eight, 185 pounds, with a six foot ten wingspan. For your physicals, we're going to go 84 speed. You're going to go 73 acceleration, 70 strength, 63 vertical, and a 99 stamina. For finishing, we're going to go 62 close shot. We're going to go 71 driving layup. We're going to go 71 driving dunk. We're going to go 73 stand dunk. Um, I know with finishing, it's going to look like this isn't very good, but with the Jason Tatum build, to really make him be able to dribble, shoot, and play good defense, one area kind of had to lack a little bit. He does have good finishing ability. All of these hit the thresholds to dunk. You can stick dunk this. Um, you can get under the rim and do the standing dunks. You do have driving dunks. You have everything to finish inside with anybody. Uh, for your shooting, we're going to go 86 three-pointer. You're going to go 92 mid-range. And you're going to go 92 free throw. Uh, we want a mid-range to be high just to unlock a lot more of these shooting badges. We do get Hoff Mini Magician, which I really recommend. Uh, that's really where the, the mid-range comes from. If you drop this, it's a lot of silvers. But when you go higher, that's really where you gain a lot of that. So I would suggest putting a high mid-range on a lot of your shooting builds. Uh, 86 three-pointer is going to get us the silver agent three, which is going to be able to help you shoot uh, fades and things like that. And you do get the bronze limitless range. For your playmaking, we're going to go 85 ball handle. Going to go 74 pass accuracy. Then you go 79 speed with ball. Uh, really with the ball handling, just to give you enough uh, attributes to unlock good animations. 85 is going to give you the gold ankle breaker. You could drop a little bit and still utilize those points in other areas 79 speed with ball you do get the blow by just pretty good dribbling for a 6-8 build the 74 pass accuracies for the bronze touch passer for defense we're going to go 61 interior you're going to go 76 perimeter we're going to go 75 steel we're going to go 77 block we're going to go 60 defensive rebound uh, so for defense, again, if you watched my last video on the Joel Embiid, uh, the bronze anchor is very usable in this game. It's just as good as silver. Uh, so I would suggest just kind of getting into that. With this 6A build, I want to be able to kind of defend anything. So your 76 perimeter, you're going to lock every defensive badge at bronze, which is good enough to be able to play defense on a 6A. You have 75 steel. You could raise this up a bit if you didn't want to be able to get chased on artists or anchor, but I thought getting those on this build was going to be, you know, something that we kind of replicate Jason Tatum with, you know, his overall defensive ability. And then your defensive rebound, I put this up to a 60. You could drop it, but I wanted to be able to... I wanted to give it defensive rebound so we could get rebounds on the defensive end and then be able to bring the ball up the court with its dribbling and stuff like that, like Jason Tatum does. So with that, we'll see the shades of on this build and the name of the build. So the three players, Brandon Ingram, Wally, and Zach Levine, and the shades of... Is a perimeter threat and that'll be it for this video if you enjoyed this jason tatum build consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one